So this is the Kinderney XIV. It's a 14-speed uh, internal gear hub, as you can see here. It's hydraulically actuated. We have the actuator here. We follow the hydraulic lines up to the shifters. We have two trigger shifters, one for upshifting, one for downshifting. And you can shift standing still or pedaling under load. The gear hub has uh, 14 speeds. Uh, with a range of 543%. And we have completely even steps between the gears uh, at 13.9%. The gear hub itself is uh, around 1400 grams. Uh, we have a 99 gram swap shell here, which means that the gear hub is actually removable from the, from the rear wheel. Uh, and the shifters themselves weigh around 360 grams which account for a total of around 1,950 grams for the whole setup. We can get a better illustration of the hub cage and the actual gear hub, which is removable. So in this case, you can actually build multiple wheels. Uh, you can buy several hub cages for only one gear hub. And you can swap, uh, for instance, between 27 plus and 29 wheels, depending on what riding you do. So you don't have to buy two gear hubs for two separate wheels. Here we can get a better view of, uh, of the shifters and the gear hub. We can see the, the swap cage is now actually mounted to the, to the gear hub. We remove the shifter simply by pulling it out. And we can here see the shifter axle. The indexation on this hub is actually inside the hub. So the shifter itself is just rotating the shifter axle like this. This is the drive side. You can see we have a very standard uh, uh, pattern for the, for the cog. This is the oil plug here. And moving on to the other side, we have a custom bolt pattern for our uh, custom rotor, which looks like this. And the torque arm here. We also have a dedicated fat bike version, which is uh, essentially the same hub, only with an extended uh, input sleeve, like this, and a custom hub cage. And uh, using the fat bike hub, we can reach axle standards like 190 and 197. And the normal hub, we can use end caps to convert it to either 135, 142, or uh, 148. So we can see the various caps down here. This is the 135 version. This is the 142 here, and the 148. And by offsetting the hub uh, in equal amounts on the same side, we always have a centered wheel, uh, no matter which configuration we use. And that means that the hub flanges on the hub cage are always in center. So you get equal spoke tensions, uh, no matter what configuration you use, whether it's 135, 142, or 148. We also have a specific brake adapter for uh, the torque arm. Every gear hub needs uh, a torque arm. This adapter simply bolts on your regular post mount and it accommodates the torque arm like this. And since the caliper, which mounts to the top, is offset a little bit, we supply either a 170 millimeter disc and also a 190 millimeter disc. Here we're going to demonstrate the wheel removal with the Kindernet. We simply unbolt the axle just like you would on a normal bicycle. We unscrew the through axle, take it out, and the hub drops down just like normal. We slide out the actuator, remove the chain, and the wheel is free. And for putting the wheel back on, we first start with the chain. In reverse order, we put the actuator on. We align the torque arm on the opposite side. Put the wheel back in, and screw the axle back on. And you can also notice that 
when the axle is loose, you can rotate the shifter in which position you like. If you route the cables uh, around the chainstay, for instance, you can move the actuator down here. If you route it along the seat stay, like we do here, we simply align it here and we tighten the axle. And when we tighten the axle, the uh, actuator is firmly in place and it's not going to move. 